What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we are starting to repel some of the Ottoman forces that have driven into our eastern front. And we got a couple of, well the Ottomans actually have quite a lot of troops um, in this area, which is understandable considering we've managed to push into the east fairly well, in, we've managed to push into the west fairly well, so obviously the bulk of their strength is over on the east. So we're going to have to start chipping away, and fortunately this army here is actually pretty poor, because lots of the army is either mob units or yeah, militia infantry. So this is this is going to be a good opportunity good opportunity to do some serious damage. So let's attack Sazik Tefvik. There we go, let's carry on. Um, but yeah, right now the, the aim of the game is to hold in the west, hold in the east while we drive from the west. Um, I do have a name request to kick off or to get actioned in this episode, which, which, which will be sometime after it was requested. But um, I'm going to put up a video explaining um, what the situation is. So let's put our field artillery at the rear. I like putting my field artillery here because the round shots fire with quite a high arc, so I don't have to look and go, "Ooh, that's my field of fire." It's no, it, they they can fire over hills. Obviously not as much as howitzers can, but they can still get some good coverage. So this is an infantry, an entirely infantry army. So you know what I'm going to do? Surround and just engulf them completely. <laughs> just absorb them and swallow them. So let's... I mean, it looks like they want to do something similar. But let's push up our... Infantry like so. If they wish to get up to no good with their cavalry, obviously we've got... This infantry is all really solid, and we've got plenty of advanced drills to deal with that. Our fuel, our fuel artillery has got more than enough range to attack some of these units, but obviously we will be pushing in and taking them out regardless. I might take these three units and push them into the town. Take these three units and push them past the town. Take these three units and push them up a little bit more. Really quite aggressive here. I'm kind of daring the horsemen to attack. Because if they do, we'll just deploy into squares. My howitzers with quick climb still have quite a good field of fire. So then they can't really outflank us. Although it looks like... No, they're going to skirmish us. That's fine. So let's get a howitzer unit to provide extra support. And the other quick climb unit will just probably attack... You need of musketeers. Because once we start firing by rank, most of this army will break and flee really quite easily. And obviously we can't take advantage of our, our um, superior firepower in the way that we like, because we are limited on cavalry numbers. Limited being almost zero. So we've got... Gonna make the best of what we've got. That's taking these men here and push them up like so. You can hear the enemy charges about to kick off. I mean, good luck to them. So let's make sure our guard units are on. Light infantry guards have guard mode on, and they don't attempt to pursue any of these infantry units. Oh god! Poor devils. Yeah, you're eager and you're confident, but for how long? General's bodyguard's charging, so it's form square here. You men form square. Ooh, interesting quick climb hit. Obviously it upset everyone, but it really upset them. Good, so let's change our targets to attack ground targets. So the 52nd are being attacked by a unit of Muslim. 
Actually, let's get our infantry, our, our howitzers to support the left flank a little bit more. And knock out the general. So what I'd like to see is these janissaries taken out. They might require a bit of extra mobbing. But I want to start trying to um, curve a flank around, really. See, they're just semini, they're not. No, they're charging line infantry guards. Bad decision. You men set up and start firing into this unit of um, semini right here. They're just mob with muskets. So, not really what they want to be charging into a. A uh, three level ex level three um, experience unit of line infantry guardsmen. So the Samat Janissaries keep getting fired upon by the 74th. Oh, if you guys reload now, you can pour some good shots into them as they're charging at almost point blank range. Second rank. Fire. Third rank. What if I fire? Nah. There we go. Quick climb is should hopefully be evening some of the the so, sort of swarmy fighting that's going on on the flanks. You men charge the Janissaries to help support the 74th. They put up a gallant effort, so it would be a terrible shame for them to be killed in such a fashion. Field artillery uh, attack the General's bodyguard. My line infantry guards now have to experience four after sustained hand to hand combat. Janissaries are winning slightly, for now. There goes that unit of Muslim. You men charge the Semini in the flank to help support out the Guardsmen. I mean, that combat on the right, on the left flank's taken a lot longer than I thought it would. Let's just get my general over here to provide a bit of morale boosting support. The 54th, fill in the gap. Muslim are done for. Semini are done for. So our line infantry guards form ranks, form line here. New men form new lines and push up. 64th are still fighting the Feline musketeers, who are, as we know, a militia musketeer unit. So hopefully, this unit of Feline musketeers will fall. Artillery coming in against the General's bodyguard. Musketeers are getting increasingly upset. New men run to the rear of the Feline Musketeers. Let's try getting my General's bodyguard all the way around to charge the, um, the Janissaries in the rear. Third foot guards have got. I'm going to have an excellent time just doing a bit of shooting without having to worry about combat. You men charge the Feline as well. These units charge down and secure the hill there. The generals got involved. Kind of didn't mean to do that, but eh. Let's have at it. There's only 80 odd of them left. I mean, this unit of Feline musketeers will not be long for this world. Yep, there we go. They've been wiped out. So you men... Okay, let's rejig our front a bit. So hit the Semini with Quicklime. That'd be great. Janissaries are still holding on quite well. Combat's even, they think. Well... If they kill us as fast as we kill them, they're doomed. There we go. 
Now we just start the surround game. Go on. Take him out. They're wavering. Of course they're wavering. Come on. Get him. Well, everyone except my general get them. The infantry will fall back. My general. Chase him down. Everyone else, take position in a... Take position on the flank of the enemy infantry. The unit fell in, musketeers, the general's bodyguard that's now wavering from artillery fire. And these foot guards. Just... Well, that's not what I told you guys to do. Fortunately, I didn't kill too many of my guys. Yeah, switched to round shot, but not early enough. Unfortunately, that's in the middle. Lucky I'm not overly stretched on this flank when it comes to infantry. I'm probably not going to chase and destroy this army. Nah. I'm happy for them to take it as a walloping and push them back. Um, scattered into... Very, very depleted, actually. They lost four-fifths of their number. Back you men go. So you can repair the Weaver's Cottage. You've got plenty of cash to repair the army. You're replenishing even more infantry waiting there. So I'm curious to see what they're going to do. One thing I am going to do is implement my name request. So the name request was to take a Highlander Warband and call it. I did... I did Google the spelling just to make sure I'll call it Clan Makada, which if you've ever seen a Blackadder season three, pretty sure, yeah, season three, the um, Prince George and yeah, it's uh, Blackadder's mentally deranged Scotsman who's head of the mighty Clan Makada that composes of two warriors. <laughs> God, I love Blackadder. Right. So let's take, let's recruit some troops. Let's get some mercenaries for this army. And probably back it up with another one more unit of regular infantry before we start recruiting spicy units because we do have an option because we're against the Ottomans. We can push south to Cherkask. I want to keep these armies on the Russian border because I want to wipe Russia out at a certain point, but it's not impacting my economy to keep them there, so I'm just going to keep them there. And the Danish aren't yet pushing on our borders, so I'm not overly worried there. Those fourth rates can wipe out those two Prussian ships, currently blockading our ports. We're not interested in bringing their ships into service, because we've cut the Prussians off from the coast anyway. So let's bring them over to Gdynia. Gdyn Gdynia? Gdynia? Something like that. So that's our named army that's currently replenishing. There's a Prussian army that might attempt to attack Königsberg. Obviously there's a few uh, other Prussian armies running around. Right, because we've got bucket loads of infantry. Let's go to this star fort that's got lots of depleted infantry and take their weakest unit. And just spend it by... Reinforcing every other unit. And then probably take it out to Leroy Hamilton's force and then dump three more infantry. Oh, my bad. Two more infantry units in there. Good. Hadwin Charlton, push up. I want you to be gunning for Warsaw on sort of the western front, western flank of this great forested area here. So, probably going to take Breslau. Obviously, we've taken, well, we defeated the Ottomans here at the river. And this army is combining once more. The army at Prague is reinforcing. This force is driving south, potentially to put Vienna under siege. So, what can you build? Ah, Ordnance board, I see. So, then in Europe, in the Americas, we do have a. Our army is still marching over towards Texas, that's okay. We have armies being recruited still here in the Americas that because I kind of dismantled the governor's barracks by accident. 
<laughs> or I cancelled its construction. Um, we have not yet. It's going to take five turns to get that, to get the King's Royal Regiment done. Although, to be honest, I could probably invade without that. And I probably will, to be honest. Okay, let's take a volunteer Irish Regiment into this army. Oh no, you need howitzers. Yeah, three, three, you need three slots. Let's get rid of probably these engineers and probably the engineers actually. You men combine. Three more artillery. That's you guys done. Because then we'll have, that'll be a massive force to fire at India. Two armies in England plus one, two, three, four, five, six armies in the Americas. Watch out, Marathas, we're coming for you. Elsewhere, to be honest, things are going rather well. Obviously, we've squeezed the Ottomans into a bit of a pocket here. Um, but I'm probably going to take... George. No, George Wade's not going to take Breslau, because obviously he's got his Fusilier army. He is in, in more of a defensive mode at the moment. So I think I'm probably going to hit end turn to let some of this reorganisation and movement happen. Um, no immediate technology concerns. Let's yeah, let's hit end turn. Oh nuts! There's an ar that army near Moscow was going to attack an Ottoman stack, so the Ottomans might now be able to go for Moscow, which would be a super annoying, but b temporary because we've got an army right there. Let's see what they do. But right now, I've got Prussian scholars trying to head over to our universities to try and deal with their deficit in research capability. Ooh, do we want to... No. I'm going to say no. I want them to try and get a turn of replenishment under the... It doesn't matter, they're attacking us anyway. Very well, we shall fight you on the field, Prussians, and throw you back into the, sh into the forest. Because you've got to bear in mind that Prussia now... Every major army they lose is another army they can't actually recover. They've not got the production capacity or the economy to replace large amounts of losses. So even though some of our troops, our armies are quite... Uh, some of our units are a bit depleted. And I am going to take my most depleted units. And that's actually probably going to be most of them. Deploy them in the middle to get the... Ooh, no, actually deploy a bit further back. Because I want them to get the support of um, gunfire. Got to be careful here. Because my men are actually more, much weaker than they would ordinarily be. Okay. Yeah, maybe a bit back here. You want to fire a quick climb at the first Lancers. The other unit that can't reach anyone, switch to round sharp. Okay, Lancers advancing on the right flank. The enemy has no presence on the left, so let's reorientate our line. I mean, they attacked us, so... You better do something. To be honest, it might be a bit more extreme and go some do something like that. cover is coming back. No, staying, walking away. Continue to fire. Speed up time. It looks like they're going to. They're playing a bit of a slow game. Looks 
They're wandering around into a new formation. You're like, yeah, well, fair play to him. But are you going to do something? So these guns are limber. Here they come. That speed as well. Quick climb. Let's just not try and knock out some infantry. Switch to shrapnel shot. Start to blast some holes into their line. The other unit that can't yet reach. Can you switch to quick climb now? Soon. So this central position is going to be leveled out. So you need to quick climb someone on the left, and this gun team back here needs to quick climb people on the right. Hit the 39th. Line infantry guards deploy square. Deploy my flank companies in square. didn't like that shrapnel shot. Push forward to counter their charge. I mean, you're not going to like it. But at least I've got my guardsmen in there. Switch the canister shot. You men out of out of square. Okay, you guys switch the canister shot. Engage the Swiss pikes. Militia definitely focused on the forty first. You guys are doing the right thing by focusing on the pikes. You men are within range of the guerrilla mercenaries. Let's get the general over on the right flank. It's the militia dealt with. Well, the pikes dealt with. Can you maybe hit the 16th? Because hopefully I can sweep, because there's a lot of mountain troops here. I can sweep the, the skirmishes away with my cavalry. Start to roll my left flank around. Like you guys are currently out of range, so let's push my line up. They are massing in the center. Pike's coming back. You men deploy square. They're going after my guardsmen again. Run my gunners away. Run my line infantry guardsmen in. No gunners, get back. General's bodyguard smash into the irregulars there. So you guys can scrap and chew up some of the enemy here. Obviously you've got some Swiss pikes getting into the mix, which isn't great. You guys are going to clear out the irregulars on that flank. Ooh, quick climb's not such a great hit, because that's mostly me they've got there. Yeah, it caused my... it really knackered my guards. Now, light horse are about to catch my general's bodyguard out of position. You men form up to fire into the flank of the combat there. You guys chase off the irregulars. You men also get over here. 
my gunners can attempt to man the guns. The 73rd charge in to keep them fixed. You men, my general, flee that action there. Canister shot and aim right there. No, not my infantry. Not my precious infantry. Actually, you guys form square. Let my general's bodyguard run through you. You men push up and knock out the 43rd. Yeah, danger close, quick climb. Canister shot didn't help. They've routed for no reason. No, General, get out of here. Maybe it was artillery fire that got rid of them. I think this is actually going okay. Get my General's bodyguard to go knock out their artillery at range. These are regulars. They fixed our infantry in position temporarily. Understandably, my general has fallen. I'm quick climbing the bejeez out of this combat, which is kind of what I need to do anyway. I think my general might have died in a artillery fire or it's a stray musket ball that must have got him there. Switch the artillery to round shot. Bombard the general's bodyguard. Because, yeah, these every, everyone ran away in that fight. No one's sticking around for that. But I've got plenty of infantry recruited as for emergency purposes. There we go. That's that infantry unit knocked out. You men pivot. You men charge into the rear of the pikes as well. So we're going to surround the 42nd Regiment of Foot. Oh, let's see, this is why having a musket's not so great when you're fighting pikemen. <laughs> well, when you're in melee combat, that is. Charge the pikes in the rear, now they're surrounded. The general's knocking out the gunners. I mean, it's quite admirable how the 42nd have continued to... Oh, actually, they're in a bit of a defilade. Not anymore, they're not. Both my howitzers just attack the general's bodyguard. These pikemen should go down pretty quick. Because even though they are pretty decent, they have been somewhat surrounded by not exactly rubbish infantry here. You go chase down the 23rd regiment. Okay, the general's like, nah, I don't want to be part of this. These aren't just any Swiss pikes, these are elite Swiss pikes. But let's speed up time a little bit. Because, yeah, there they all go. <laughs> Quite a bloody battle, this one. But I think it's a, a battle that we could, we could afford to be bloody in. Yeah. Back you go. Uh, auto resolve that. And <laughs> so it's the Ottoman stack near Moscow we need to keep an eye on because I did forget about it. It's all about what they're going to do. Yeah, you see it there. They've co they've combined. And they're si oh, good. So I don't mind if all those guys do escape from um, do escape from north in Italy. I don't want to attack these guys. It's a river battle, but we're running low on numbers. So I don't mind. 
I'd rather have a turn of replenishment. Yeah, they're marching on Moscow. Ooh, oh god, they're dangerously close. Dangerously close, but they didn't. If they marched on it, they might have got it. Because we're not going to be really... Okay, I need to pull one of my emergency Russian armies back. That's what I need to do, I think. I need to bring them back into the action. Is Denmark complete? Continues to patrol my western coast. You swines. You've got all the land you want. You've got Scandinavia. Why would you be bothered about trying to invade me? Mm -mm. So there goes the Greek fleet. Again, another fleet that will be destined to be um, dispersed amongst the, uh, the atoms of the universe once we take Greece because the, the fleet will completely disappear. Sabotage of Pleasure Gardens. Fine. Have at it. So it's over here. So yeah, we've now recruited a bit of infantry, but not exactly an army. Okay, let's bring Alvin Veer back. You need infantry. Infantry, let's get a sharpshooter unit and ah, hell tell with it. Get a Ferguson rifleman unit. Because this force does need to hit Dimitri Himli. So unfortunately they're gonna that's gonna push him either that way or that way. That way would be better. Let's do some other stuff first. Natural causes! Edward Russell, Admiral. Very well. Let's upgrade the industry building here. Public servant dies. Tobin Karnak. Public servant dies. Xavier Coulson. Rook death. Hector Norton. So let's take some of these units and combine them together to make some pretty darn elite infantry. I mean, like I said, because I went on a bit of a a mad recruitment sp recruitment um, spree we do have lots of pretty good infantry available to us and then you this fragment fragmented stack can join them get the final orders replenish a new a new uh go get a new uh, general oscar hardinge and let's recruit a lifeguard unit to join them Richie Compton, you're okay. Men, Maybe get within range of Minsk, should you get attacked by Ali Husrev, because you might get attacked with a bit of support here. Harold Williams is replenishing. Hadwin Charlton is... I mean, are you going to intercept me? No, actually, no, don't. I, I, I suddenly realised how depleted they were. Unfortunately, our army in Gdansk is still replenishing, otherwise they would go hit Henrik Heinrich Holgarten. I don't think they're going to do that much damage to our garrison. I mean, they're definitely going to get in. They've got plenty of artillery, but we've got some pretty decent infantry to hold the city anyway. So we've got enough... We have enough men in the garrison to wait for this army to replenish to come to their aid. So let's do some buildings well, let's continue the building browser session keep on upgrading keep on upgrading military and economic buildings across the board like I said sometimes there are times you don't really need to upgrade the military buildings but it's just very useful because you don't want to get surprised and have um, armies popping up behind your lines and then suddenly you think oh no I can't recruit a decent army to stop them I wish I had spent all this money I've got that's Ooh, actually are you unhappy Dresden minus six how about now <laughs> not anymore okay Spain yeah, you've got your gunnery building Saxony's got the mines. Let's upgrade the mines here. 
as well. Leipzig's been upgraded. Saxony got the roads. Brandenburg got a smith's workshop. Bavaria got new mines. Bavaria's got a new chap school. Doing some significant investments in Naples, although they don't like us. Well, I'm pretty sure it should only be letter of demands at this stage, but let's recruit some militia just in case. I mean, granted, we are trying to turn them Catholic, so understandably they might not like that very much. Good. Good, 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 good. Good. Okay, so yeah, you're still replenishing. You're in a position where you could attack, but I would like to push the garrison of Rome out to hit these armies and push them all back to Venice. And I wanted this army to be a bit more replenished, which it is, so if these guys move, we will fight the river battle. The force of Prague is ready, so you can move out and be taxed. So Kevin McDowell, march on to Vienna, which we probably will take. I just want to do a bit more admin -y stuff. Because I think this army under Robin Ager would probably push towards... Well, I have to send one army east to Warsaw. George Wade, when he's fought, when Breslau is secured, he'll probably move south to engage some armies in the Balkans. So you're replenishing. You're repairing. Got a bunch of ships being recruited, more artillery being recruited, more troops being recruited. To be honest, we've got loads, just loads of stuff being recruited. Loads of stuff. But I think what I want to do is take... This is I'm under Kevin McDowell and hit Vienna because right we've got a really cool army to do it. So let's attack the city. They've got a bunch of mortars, but they don't have a full garrison, so we need to still need to blow our way in, be a bit careful, and then the city will be ours. And that will be delightful, I think. We'll be able to make a fantastic um, advance into, I think, one of the strongest no, no, I'm getting my confused campaigns mixed up. The Ottomans are still quite quite powerful. They are quite... They still have a lot of oomph. Um, so they might have mortars, but we've got... Heavy Horse Guard Artillery. Which will love these flimsy walls. And our Heavy Horse Howitzers will also love their flimsy people. So let's get the Rifles and the Connaught Rangers. They're going to go in somewhere through the breach. Our Irish Volunteers and two units of regular infantry are going to cover maybe three... three... No, maybe... My Guards and a unit of infantry are going to cover some of the breaches. So I'm anticipating because it's the type of thought that it is, we're actually going to be making lots of holes directly ahead of our line, so we're not going to need as many men to go flanking and capturing alternative ways in. I'm anticipating these artillery pieces are so powerful they'll blow lots of holes in the wall. So start from left and right, both sides. Can you guys reach the centre? Kind of. You will need to start clearing out some of these artillery pieces. Apologies for the sneeze. Oh, they've hit some of our marines. How dare you. But one volley's done. Oh wait, not very much. Why is my artillery not doing a super good job at knocking out their defences? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, because they are overshooting a bit. Well, very well. Let us continue 
at a higher rate of speed. The job of my howitzers is to make some, to knock out some of the mortar crews with an objective of hopefully knocking some of their guns out. Um, easier said than done because some of them are really out of reach, but I think we kind of have to do it. Okay, I might get my gunners to focus on making one breach at a time rather than going for two. Yeah, more damage there. Oh, wait, hold on. I've got to make sure they understand the order and interpret it correctly. Yeah, there we go. So, quick climb's done. Real number on one of the mortar garrisons plus a unit of their artillery. But I'm hoping I can actually kill a mortar crew completely. Because even though one guy shouldn't be enough to crew a gun, it can be enough. They'll just keep, like, firing. So let's get one of them to keep attacking the centre. Another unit to start firing on men on the walls. Yeah, so they're actually missing this unit, this section here, and actually hitting that section of the wall behind it. But there we go. Now to start just putting holes in the walls and try and draw some of these men off of this section. Because when we attack here, we need to try getting quick, because... Still three more to garrison units. Warband's quite strong. The Firelock Arm Populous is quite strong, although I didn't give them the new order in slower time. So the quick climb, I don't think it's. Cl they're not close enough to do damage. I think I'm okay with my. I think my gun crews are kind of firing at will. Because again, I've interfered with. I've interfered with the um, order giving. At uh, in while I've been in, you know, high speed, and it seems to really, really screw things up. So let's try and make a few holes in the wall, and then we'll just swarm it. I mean, to us, even two is probably fine. I mean, I probably I would only really need to put in massive amounts of holes in the wall if you've got an entire a full garrison. So let's switch you guys to round shot. Attack the artillery to the rear. Run you men slightly off to one side. Let's get these men to run up as well. So I'm pretty sure you guys are lobbing shots up over... Hmm. Yeah, the mortar, the, um, the artillery has opened up. So where's my... there it is. Horse guard unit. Let's get you over here as well. Because to be honest, we're probably just going to storm straight in. Yeah, these marines... Just try to take the walls, to be honest. You can't really hang about outside the gates waiting for someone to win. Just get up there. Quick is going to knock out quite a lot of men. It's going to try and defend the breach. And here comes the quick line. Cool. I mean, the Marines do look pretty damn awesome. How are the shots coming in? Any tasty quick climb? Oh no, did I accidentally... Damn it, dang it, nabbit. So you men push up, fire into the breach. These volunteers get over here. Then these three units advance. Yeah, that'd be fine. Advance the breach. Let's try get some... Riflemen on the walls. Yeah, it's got a chunk of my Highlander Warband there. That's got a lot of my Highlander Warband. So get your ropes up quick. Good. Excellent hit there. So I might, to be honest, just run a... Run my cavalry in. Run my infantry in. Oh, 
Yeah, they're going to start shooting at you because they realise the threat. Europe. Yeah, they've abandoned the breach, so just run people in. I mean, I may or may not continue this idea of putting my light infantry up on the walls. I like doing it, but it might cause more more issues than it solves, but there we are. Semini are involved. But my lifeguards have taken them down a peg. Let's just run this other cavalry in. They'll run around to get into the breach, and that's... Again, that's fine. Run some Coldstream guards to cover here. Get my Lion Infantry and my other unit of Coldstream guards. To run interference. Oh god, I quick limed all my own guys. Again. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's really bad. <laughs> wow. Nice one, Quicklime. Oh, God. This is why I shouldn't use Quicklime. Oh, my God. That's all my own guys. God, I suck. I suck so bad. I get my Coldstream guards in there to help survive. Or to help fight the Connaught Rangers. Yeah, that's part of the problem with attack ground orders, is that if you forget about them... Well, you can't forget about them. you got to remember where the attack ground orders are. Now my regiment of horse are in, because we've taken the gate. The regulars are routing here. I don't know why. Sometimes they just decide, no, we're not going to climb up the walls. It's like, yeah, but that's your orders, right? Thank Christ this isn't a actual proper battle that meant something and losing all those troops would have been a catastrophe. As it is, eh, it's just really dumb. <laughs> God, and I th there are times where I think I know how to play this game. Apparently not. Knock out that crew, that auto crew there. I mean, did the other Irish volunteer unit route? I mean, to be honest, they all deserve to route. Kill that mortar garrison crewman because it looks like he doesn't really want to be killed. To be honest, I think it comes down to do you have like overwhelming numbers as to whether or not they you're holding the centre, so you don't have to kill everyone as long as you just have the dominant you you dominate the centre, then it should be fine. Like the cavalry. Like those units fire it well off. Use one unit there to chase down the Azar. Get a unit over here to hit the 26th. And they've all broken. Hooray! <laughs> this army is not going to be doing anything for a while. These, the Azar have been knocked out. I think they're all, they are all done, right? Pretty sure. Yeah. Poor. So a bit more of an expensive replenishment bill than anticipated, especially when I lost. Yeah, so I killed 900 men in that in that splat. Well, not just 900. Yeah, roughly, roughly, not bad, not bad. It's pretty good. So let's take the army, replenish. In theory, I could run out and try and grab um, Hungary, but I don't. Don't really want to. I mean, Jude Abbott. I was about to say he might auto resolve that fight, but he's not. Munich. Recruit some troops to act as your defenders. So we do have to fight this battle in the. Oh, you're out of range. Well. Oh, no, you're not. Okay, cool. You're going to attack Dimitri Hilmi. Because it's something we've got to do, and it's pretty important that we do take him down a peg or two. So depending on where they route, that could be that could be quite frustrating. But you know, as long as you as long as you do damage to them, and you just keep an army chasing after them, sooner or later you will catch up to them, and then that'll be that. They'll they will be annihilated. It's so frustrating having an army running around your territory, destroying all your buildings, but. 
you know, you've got to get used to that sort of thing in Empire because the AI will do it sooner or later to you. As much as I might try and create my battle lines on the campaign map to stop that from happening, it doesn't always work. So let's put a decent core of infantry up front. Put some engineers and some infantry to take the high ground with skirmisher support. Let's group them together. Put some engineers and line infantry to push around the left flank. Cavalry on the open ground. The bulk of the cavalry on the right to secure the hill. General in the centre. Open up. So my central line is going to push up. The right hand flank can advance. Some delicious quick climb going in. So who's that they've got out on the extreme flank? Delhi Horsemen! Eh, it kind of sucks to face them with heavy cavalry because they'll fire a cheap volley. Which you normally want a more expendable unit to take. So who are you? You're, you are pikemen, so I don't want to go mad for you. If I could give you a quick climb hit, that would be lovely. Delhi horsemen are coming in, so all right, they can hit my battle line and skirmish the Jesus out of them. They've killed ten foot guards, but they are going to get their own back. I mean, they aren't charging; they are just reloading their carbines, so they aren't. They're not going to try and take us out. Okay, so they're pushing now. So my gunners... Well, yeah, they are focusing on the artillery. That's not bad. They're massing their cavalry behind the line, so... Misses will still do some good damage. Muslim are getting annihilated by pikes. Not quite the target I would have liked, but... Eh. But I think I want to take this line unit... Push them up like so. Look at their howitzers firing round shot. How quaint. Yeah, hit the pikemen, please, with quick climb. I must have misclicked. You guys hit the infantry. Lots of these guys are all just chaff. So they're okay to run around. You men fire it well off, because you've got some troops advancing in front of you. Now you'll fire it well off, you'll fire it well on. There we go, pikemen have been knocked out. Quick climb, attack ground, well, just attack ground somewhere around here now, to be honest. Artillery also change your targets into the block of men. Still do some pretty good damage there. Let's take these grenadiers and Swiss line, oh, Swiss grenadiers and engineers on the left flank, push them up heavy cavalry to advance them as well. Okay, let's give them some actual quick climb targets, but let's focus on battlefield or troops that are going to skirmish us. Charge my hussars up toward the Delhi horsemen to take the volley. Oh, I didn't, they didn't even get to hit the volley. They fired a volley into the combat, which is not necessarily a good idea. Charge my men on to the Delhi horsemen. You guys go after the general's bodyguard. P 
pick new artillery targets because we are in real risk of doing some damage to the wrong units here. I mean, I did just kill a whole bunch of guys in the city, but whatever. Okay, let's get some pursuing on the go. Because it looks like they are... Uh, they're done. They don't really want to stick around anymore. You chase down the Mussolini, you guys can chase down these Danny Horsemen. Hello! There's some chaps over here. The hey, do it irregulars. Actually, no, you guys hit the pikemen, please. You guys stop chasing down the Muslim, because that's kind of a silly target for you to waste your time firing at. You guys just run up like that. Again, it's a bit of a weird direction, but it stops them from doing too much damage to my men. Oh, my heavy cavalry got stuck in the open ground where they're being charged by um, irregulars. So you men chase down the Nizam. All my artillery bombard the Janissary Musketeers that have just come back. Good. Charge these infantry units through to my heavy cavalry. Chase down the infantry, you guys chase down the pikes, all my artillery fire. Cease fire. General's bodyguard chase down the hand mortars, let's turn the fire it will off for all of these guys. There you go, all these light infantry units that popped up together are being hit by a combination of heavy cavalry and 20th Regiment of Grenadiers. 20th Grenadier Regiment. So understandably, they are not that amused either. Chase them down. Yeah, the heavy artillery hasn't got the message yet. Now it has. Sweet. So let's continue the slaughter. I just like killing pikemen because they are such a impediment to my cavalry running around and just clearing out the battlefield however they see fit. Go on, General, where are you at? Oh, you got suckered into fighting the horse artillery, eh? Now chase down the hand mortars. Actually, first of all, you guys. Very well. You're not going to kill your Nizam, but let's run into the Janissary Musketeers a bit, then run back into the Nizam to try and maximise kills. Good stuff. My hussars have killed the pikes, which is lovely. So you keep going for the hand mortars, because you're right there. You guys go chasing down the Hader Hader Irregulars. There's only a handful of Irregulars there to kill, which would be nice if you could take them out. Then go chase down that auto of Muslim there. Only one hand mortar guy left, and he's been knocked out. There you go, everyone against this unit of irregulars. Which we've now got plenty of cavalry to knock him out. Yes. Good stuff there. That's a nice battle against the Ottomans. Yeah, so they've routed in a really frustrating direction. That's not so bad. You men replenish and get stay on the road to Moscow. So you're hunkering down. You're hunkering down. Lots of places are hunkering down because, again, there is a... There's a reasonable enemy presence in the east. 
Lots of repairing, lots of replenishing. So let's hit and turn and see what the uh, what the crack is. So those two armies in England are completed. Prussians. See, the thing is, the Prussians might wander within range of an army, and then I can uh, destroy them in a defensive action, which would be perfect. Yeah, the Prussians want to desperately see the knowledge that we have learned. It's interesting, though, that they find they have no desire to uh, continue their attacks against us. The Ottomans, they're massing near Kiev, they're generating new forces and then pushing east. They're not attacking Vienna, thankfully. My god. Because I'll for a quick climb all my own guys, my garrison there is not the best. Yeah, the Ottomans are on the march. So what we are going to do next time is fight to push them out of... Hey, they've run to neutral Russia. No, wait, are they at war with Russia? Oh, they are at war with Russia. Yeah, fine. Go take the Russian territories and then I'll take them off of you. That sounds good to me. Again, they want a trade agreement and alliance and 180 grand. No, because... Your only enemy is Persia, and that's so not helpful to me. And they're going to come steal my tech anyway, the devils. Mainly because it's never really worth stopping people from doing that. Go on, Denmark, invade the Ottomans, that'd be great. Whether or not they will, though, is another question. So, come on. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Rake in West Prussia. That's not bad. Go to Serbia. Get some visibility on what's going on in the inner part of their empire. You're on your way to go to Sarah. That's the army I've accidentally clicked there. So get my rake into Sarajevo. Fleet arrives. Obviously loads of fifth rates to replace all of the ships that were displaced don't get sarky with me mister oh, the, oh yeah the Greeks did take a position Denmark took another so you hunker down so one of these is going to be the army the navy coming back looking for yeah looking for repairs Repairs and reinforcements. So I might put Sheridan Dell to go out there. Because the army, the navy that's currently out there is weak. So you men replenish. You can't pick up excess ships there. So pretty sure I have sent other ships to take stock on the uh, capabilities of other trade zones. So let's just divert, we'll divest these four rates roughly equally between as many of our zones as we can. So that was also here, that was also here, and this was also here. So we get rid of all those fleet arrives markers. And our agents to the side, so let's keep keep on upgrading yeah, you can't recruit anything with that building ordnance board in New Mexico Got some more good economic upgrades here Prague needs better roads to help facilitate the movement of my armies through Europe. I have noticed that industrial building in Europe that needs upgrading, but I kind of counted on it being on my building queue. Good, some excellent investments here in Naples. And then we've got a really healthy set of troops in, in Italy as well. So there's going to be a lot of action there. 
Hey, you want better roads. You're getting better roads. So those guys have marched into Russian territory, so we can't outright follow them. But we can just wait. Ian Stevenson, however, is going to march back to the artillery fort. The garrison of Moscow is almost complete. Well, another garrison of Moscow is almost complete. Got lots of armies that are replenishing. To be honest, we could fight quite a lot of offensive actions here. But what is super tempting is to take... Sadly, you're... Well, you you are nearly replenished, so you are going to fight against Edward Vine. But we want to take Robin Azure, Azure, Azure. He is going to hit Warsaw. So what we're going to want to do is take Warsaw, fight this battle here to hit this reinforcing army, see where they go, take them out, then with these armies swing down here to really threaten the western flank of this kind of stretched, this kind of stretched out part of the empire. Then here, take Hilario Huntsman. Oh wait, he can't leave. Okay, Tripoli, let's exempt you from tax. And let's slowly start to fill you up with some Dragoons. Because we do want to start using these armies to attack. Maybe. I might take Greece and Athens, actually. If I can build a reason... Well, keep building up my navy. I can eventually just ignore. Well, I can blockade and destroy the... Turkish. I think the, the thing to do is take Robin, attack Warsaw, and then say, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of the current Prussian capital here in Poland. Cheers everyone.